Hey everybody, welcome back to another create tutorial. Today we're going to go over another layer mask and that's going to be the selections. So I'm going to right click and go down to add and add local selection. So what this is going to do automatically is create a new layer called selection. And as you can see up here, our color wheel has turned to a black and white color wheel. So if you remember from the masking, these do different things. I'm going to go to my brush here. Make sure this is the right size. I'm going to start coloring. So right away we see there's some red instead of black, which is a little different than some of the masking tools we went over uh, earlier. So I'm just going to kind of quickly color her shirt. And this is obviously not coloring it red, it's just creating the mask. And here, you can see in the selection, it's now black. So if I were to go back to the main line art layer, you can see that everything is selected except the shirt. So if I go to the blue and I st oops, and the black, sorry, I can start coloring and the shirt is basically exempt from that color. So I can make a new layer and put this here and I can create this mask and put it on my color layer. And now, oops, go to that actual color layer and I can start coloring and I have basically masked off that shirt so I can color everything else. Now if we want to, we can uh, go to select all, and invert selection, and now when we go to our color layer and color, we can add only to the shirt. So that's an easy way to basically mask off certain areas of your work without making multiple layers for color. So if I wanted to, I can add another local selection. And here we're going to select all and I'm actually going to hit the delete key. I'm going to turn this one off so I can see. So now I have this, it's all red, so basically it would all be masked out. So instead of using uh, black, I can go in and use the white and I can start coloring or adding back in the selection that I want, which is the jeans. Now obviously this is just me coloring it in so the selection isn't perfect. Maybe we'll say this is going to be a similar color for whatever reason. Put some of our arm there. All right, so we have this on. So we'll just make it a greenish color. She's a zombie type Frankenstein character. And we can do that. Now if I want uh, the other selection on, I can go back and turn the visibility on. I can hide that selection and turn that selection on. Same here. They cannot both be active at the same time though. It has to be one or the other, which is totally fine. And you can turn them both off. And we're going to actually deselect to make sure that color layer has no selection. And that's really it for the local selection mask. It's very useful. I have used this in the past um, for separating some color out. Um, it does make things a little faster especially when you're doing different um, colors in one layer or whatever else you need to do. It is faster than using the colorized mask tool to some degree, but because we're isolating those selections, um, you don't have to like worry about, oh, I want to change this color and screwing it up. So if I want to change it back to blue here for the hands, and the jeans I can and not worry about interfering with the color of the shirt. Hopefully this video was helpful. I learned something new with the um, layers of the selection mask here. Make sure I'm saying that right. Yeah, local selection. Sorry, the local selection mask. If you have any questions about these, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I will see you in the next video.